In this video, we're going to go over cancer. This is going to include a discussion on the features of cancer, as well as oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. When it comes to cancer, you usually think of these cells as cells that grow uncontrollably, and that's correct. However, there are additional features of cancer cells that have now been defined. You can see all six in this diagram. The first is self-sufficiency of growth signals. Typically, for cells to grow and divide, they need signals telling them to do so. Cancer cells are self-sufficient in that they're able to produce their own growth signals. This is what helps to allow them to grow uncontrollably and divide uncontrollably. The second is insensitivity to anti-growth signals. So normal cells, when they have grown enough or divided enough, they will receive signals that tells them to stop growing and dividing. Cancer cells are insensitive to these signals. And again, that allows for uncontrolled cell division and growth. The third is tissue invasion and metastasis. This is a property of cancer cells and that they're able to migrate and enter the blood vasculature and spread to other organs. So wherever the primary tumor formed, if it's left untreated long enough, then secondary tumors will start to form in other regions of the body. The fourth is unlimited replication potential. So most cells in the body can only replicate a fixed number of times. That's not the case for cancer cells. Cancer cells can just keep replicating and replicating forever. They're essentially immortal. The fifth is growth of new blood vessels or angiogenesis. Tumor cells, because they grow very quickly and divide very rapidly, they require a lot of nutrients and they also produce a lot of waste that need to be eliminated. So this requires the growth of new blood vessels to support the tumor cells. Last is inhibition of apoptosis. So again, the cell does have mechanisms to defend against cells that are damaged or uh, possibly becoming cancerous through initiating apoptosis. Cancer cells inhibit apoptosis, so that way they can continue to grow and divide. Okay, so these are the different features of cancer that you wanna be familiar with for LAMCAT. Let's now talk about oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. The reason why we're talking about genes is because all cancer is ultimately the cause of DNA mutations and from a single cell. So we only need one cell to become cancerous for it to form a large tumor. So we'll start first with oncogenes. The first thing you should recognize is that cancer does not create new genes. It works on pre-existing genes. So in normal cells, there are genes called proto-oncogenes. These are normal genes that function to stimulate cell division, inhibit cellular differentiation, and halt apoptosis. This is their normal function. When you have mutations in these proto-oncogenes that are called gain-of-function mutations, this can increase the activity of the proto-oncogenes or cause them to lose their regulation. This converts the proto-oncogenes into oncogenes. So essentially all these activities of proto-oncogenes are permanently active. So it will continue and constantly stimulate cell division, inhibit cellular differentiation, and halt apoptosis. All of these are features of tumor cells. So when you have a proto-oncogene converted to an oncogene, you should know that these oncogenes have the potential to cause cancer. Now you'll note here we write that oncogenes have the potential to cause cancer. They don't necessarily have to. And that's because usually the cell has multiple pathways to protect from uncontrolled cell growth and cell division. So in most types of cancer, you have to accumulate multiple mutations before the cell becomes cancerous. All right, so now let's look at tumor suppressor genes. Again, these are normal genes within the cell. And these genes function to stimulate apoptosis and inhibit cell division and cell growth. These genes are often activated when DNA repair processes fail to correct errors. So essentially when there's a DNA mutation of some sort, 
there are DNA repair processes that are initiated that try to fix those damages, those mutations. If those processes fail, the cell is usually pretty smart and knows to stimulate apoptosis. And that's the role of tumor suppressor genes, to stimulate apoptosis. So if you have a cell where these tumor suppressor genes have been mutated with loss of function mutations, then the tumor suppressor genes can no longer do their job. And this, again, can cause cancer because the cell isn't able to stimulate apoptosis and it's not able to inhibit cell division or cell growth. And in most cases of cancer, there is a combination of gain of function mutations that produces oncogenes and loss of function mutations and tumor suppressor genes.